Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Shay. So today is going to be another nursing video. Um, and this one is another shout out to my new grads. Again, congratulations to my class of 2019. I know many of you guys are getting ready to take your NCLEX, but I had some people request that I do a video concerning interview tips for your first RN job and etc. So if you guys are interested in some tips and um, techniques, um, basically my experience, I have been part of panel interviews as an interviewer as well as I have been interviewed both in solo format and panel format. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it. Okay guys, so let's just cut straight to the chase. You just got out of school. Um, you're getting ready to interview for your first big job. Your job as a RN, you got them credentials. You might have passed your NCLEX, your NCLEX might be pending. But regardless, you scored an interview. So already that alone, congratulate yourself because it's hard to get an interview. Trust me, um, when I was in school, I had top five places that I wanted to work. And I only got an interview to, I think, three of them. So um, Putting in a resume, putting in an application is hard work. The fact that you got an interview is just in itself a thumbs up. So the first thing I wanted to talk about in reference to getting ready to interview is make sure you're dressed appropriately. So obviously what I have on today <laughs> is not appropriate. Um, basically appropriate where places that I recommend to people, if they're on a budget too, a good place is JCPenney's. Um, even though their prices are claimed to be a little high-end, they always have 50% off, 60% off, um, coupons, things like that. So they're a very good budget-friendly place to go. Other places include TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, things like that. Basically, um, for my females, what I suggest you look for is a pantsuit. Um, skirts are nice, dresses are nice, and I don't go against them, but a pantsuit is the best thing to make you feel comfortable. And it's also easy access where if you get too warm, you can take the jacket off, and if you get cool, you can put the jacket on. You don't have to worry about, like, sweating. You don't have to worry about shivering through your interview and things like that. So, um, like I said, the top place I usually recommend, I purchased mine the April before I graduated, just so I would be prepared. A nice blouse it can be collared it can be crew neck nothing that's cut kind of like how my romper is today you want to get a nice jacket um, that fits very um, flattering to your body but not too big not too small and then a simple pair of dress pants find something that is around your size or a little bit bigger that way um, you're not like they're not so tight you don't have to worry about the zipper breaking the day of the interview things like that um, big interview no-nos for me stilettos if your high heels are above like two inches, um, I don't really usually recommend that. One, they're uncomfortable. Two, you potential for falls. Three, um, stiletto pumps just aren't, they don't scream professional to me. Um, some people might beg to differ, but I think a simple inch and a half heel, whether you're tall or short, or even a simple flat. I would go with flats, especially um, to just avoid, you don't know what the weather is going to be like, anything like that. A simple, nice flat would work. Now, I know you guys are like, if you're talking about females, what about guys? Guys, you guys have it pretty easy too. A simple, nice button collar shirt, you can tuck it in, you can leave it. I would always recommend tuck it in. I was going to say you can leave it out, but depending on the shirt's fit, I would usually tuck it in, nice belt, dress pants. If you have a suit jacket, that would be nice, but usually guys can get away with wearing like a dress shirt and a tie because it does look appropriate. So overall, just make sure you look the part. You Are you going to interview somebody or are you even going to be paying attention to a person if they have like a low cut shirt on, you're afraid that they're like life is going to come out of their outfit, you're afraid that it's too big, anything like that, anything to distract or take the focus off you as the person, don't wear it. And that's always what I recommend. Um, so my next thing I want to tell people is be humble. Um, a lot of times we get into interviews, and don't get me wrong, it's your interview, brag on yourself, market yourself, things like that. But also when the big question comes up about weaknesses which is a question you're definitely going to be asked especially um, at a nursing interview make sure you're ready to answer that question and make sure your answer is um, humbling so example we interviewed someone um, I want to say maybe three or four months ago and when I asked her like what is what do you feel like your biggest weakness is or what do you think your weakness will be when you um, get on the floor and she was like oh I'm not gonna have no weaknesses I know this I know that and I'm gonna walk with full force 
while um interviewers appreciate the confidence the fact that you're not humble shows that you are not in a mindset to learn and you don't acknowledge your weakness and you're not ready to work on that so um just make sure like when I was preparing for my interview um I took a list and I wrote down my strengths and I wrote down my weaknesses one um weakness that you can kind of tweak on which I always recommend to people if they say I really don't know what to say for my weakness I tell people my strength was my organization but my weakness was also organization and what I usually would tell people in an interview is um weakness can, my organization can be my weakness because because I'm so organized I know nursing is a constant changing field so if it's constantly changing I might um like get thrown off or deterred if I'm not able to keep up with my organization and that's something I know I need to work on um, as I get ready for this career so that is one good one that I can recommend um, you guys can literally go online and Google um, strengths and weaknesses and p look at the list you'll be able to find one for you and the big point when you're talking about it like I said make sure you acknowledge it as a weakness be humble but also be able to acknowledge how you will conquer that weakness so that is my second tip um the third thing I want to always tell people is to know the company that you are applying for know their values know your, their mission statement know what matters to them the most know what drives their nursing what do they look for in nurses so like example knowing the mission statement in itself is like a big check mark to me if you know what this company is looking for like sis this job can be yours like making sure that you can align with the values so if you like if they ask you a quick question just be like okay I know this is one of the company's values I think this um aligns with my personality and everything because yada 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 that shows not only that you're interested in that company in particular but you did your homework before your interview and it just engages the conversation so knowing the values knowing the mission statement those are definitely plus um some interviewers will tell you don't sound rehearsed but knowing your values and stuff does not sound rehearsed it sounds like you did your homework and it sounds like you did your research and it sounds like you're interested in the company so that's another thing I would also recommend um the fourth thing I would recommend and people are gonna be like what practice practice for your interview um if you went to a university or a community college there should be some type of career resource center get someone to interview you do a mock interview that does not know you from a can of paint you can interview in front of mom, you can interview in front of dad, you can interview in front of your best friend. I don't think you're going to get the criticism and critique that you need because these people know you. They know you're a bomb, you're going to be a bomb behind nurse. They expect you to, you know, they know you're going to be a professional. So their views, even though they might claim not to be biased, it might be. So go to one of these mock interviews. These help me so much, especially with me talking in front of people because sometimes I can get tongue-tied, which I know you guys know. You see me on YouTube. But um, these can just get you comfortable in speaking in front of people you don't know. They also make you very comfortable for what's called panel interviews. If you know you're going to have a panel interview, when you go to practice, tell them, can you set a group of people up in a room and have each of them ask me a question? I know this is going to be a panel interview. Panel interviews can be very intimidating, but in reality, I almost kind of like them more than I like solo interviews because I feel like you have different people in the room to talk to. Um, of course, you have to make sure you're making eye contact with almost each and every person as you're answering questions and things like that. But it just brings, um, I think it brings a more homely vibe when you have a lot of people because there's tons of personalities you can get in touch with. And if this person's not feeling you, this person might be feeling new. And then I know a lot of times after we finish a panel interview, somebody will be like, oh, she was to this or she was to that. And then I can come in and I'll be like, well, I think that's a good aspect or things like that. So panel interviews, don't let them scare you. Um, they're awesome. You just have to learn how to make sure you're making that contact with everyone in the room. Um, and the last thing I always tell people is very simple and plain. Like, is this even a tip? You guys are going to be like, Shay, this is so simple. But it's very key. Be yourself. I have gotten to interviews a lot of times where the person is just, I don't want to say overly trying, but you can tell that I know it's a very, very nervous time. Don't get me wrong because I was so nervous when I did mine, but if you are yourself and you let yourself shine through, people will be able to see how authentic you are. Um, between your answers to your questions, don't make up stories, stick to the facts, stick to the things you know. If you don't know something, don't be afraid to say it, but always say, you know what, um, that's not something I'm familiar with, but I'm very eager to get to know or to learn it. Those are good answers. Um, 
don't try to make yourself um to I don't know how to explain it we want you to be confident we want you to be in this interview and rock it but at the same time you don't have to market yourself to a point where it's not yourself so um feel comfortable to speak on things that you don't know and let them know you don't know feel comfortable to speak of course on things you know and rock star at it but overall just be yourself try to be comfortable um people who interview you know it's a nerve-wracking time and anybody who is an a-hole to you doing your interview um is either only trying to prepare you for interviews or just simply because they want to see you at your best self so don't take anything harsh especially when people give you like criticism or critique if anything take it and just rock the interview so I think that's pretty much it guys I don't want to keep you here too long I think 10 minutes is already enough but um I just want to give you guys some tips and techniques on how you can interview so for all my people getting ready to interview you guys are rock stars you're going to kill it um like I said just be mindful practice look up literally I went on google the week before my interviews and I looked up interview questions um, anything that I can tell you guys, I know they will ask you about your strengths and weaknesses. I know they'll say, tell me about a time when, you know, um, something happened at work that you feel, um, like customer service wise. Tell me about a time a patient was like upset with you. Tell me about a time in clinical where you didn't know something and what did you do to, you know, get familiar with it. Tell me about a time you tried a technique for the first time. Tell me how do you try a technique for the first time what do you do what resources do you look at those are very common questions tell me about yourself very general but you will be surprised that was the question that i think choked me up the most in my interviews tell me about yourself i'm like what there's so much to me what do you want to know but those are just common simple things and even though you practice does not mean it's rehearsed but it will show that you're prepared and you're ready to you know just embrace the interview process so again, guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Um, I hope you guys rock your interviews. If you have any questions, comments, you people who already interviewed or are interviewers, leave things below for um, our new grads that are getting ready to, you know, go on to this next step. And I will see you guys in my next video.